we've already talked about creating this file and saving it. Okay, You know that usually you'd just be doing it under the save button, but this leaves it as an inventor part file. And while I'll be able to read those and print those off, what I would like you to do is under the inventor menu, under print options, you should see 3D print preview. So you can get an idea of what will actually be created. Within this, okay, it looks pretty barren, looks pretty similar. You can kind of look around and make sure that that's what you actually need to create. But under the menu on top, it has export file type. You need to make sure that you're giving me an STL file. You're hitting options and that even though we created the part as inches, we need to tell Inventor to leave it as millimeters. Okay, There are a lot of different units that we could be using, but make sure that we have millimeters set. Medium resolution is fine. You shouldn't have to mess and change any of these other options. Just triple check that you're leaving it in millimeters. Hit OK. And then there's a couple of options. Okay, send to the 3D print service, or what you'll be doing today is save copy as. Okay. So save the copy as, it's going to offer that STL option. Make sure that you're going to leave it in a place that you're going to remember. And then I'd go ahead, put in your initials, and then keychain, hit save. And then send me both the inventor file and the STL file.